and welcome to the start of the weekend here on Carton Select, where now he or she who hesitates is lost in gridlock. And welcome to another edition of Gridlock, the ultimate word game, where we're well on our way to finding a champion wordsmith. And in recent shows, some tremendous scores have been set. Each day, three contestants line up to take the challenge in a bid to become the Gridlock champion. And as always, we'll test their vocabulary, their strategy and their quick thinking. But only one can go through to the next stage of the competition. Today, those contenders are Janet Rhodes, who's an admin assistant, Saeed Khan, who's a local government officer, and Carol Leister, who's a college services officer. Welcome to gridlock. The first round involves double meanings. Now, many words have more than one meaning, and I'll give you a series of clues to different meanings of a single word. To answer, just give me the word to which the clues relate, and then you'll get the opportunity to place a letter on our grid, hopefully making up some words, or at least a, a word. The longer the word you make up, the more points you score. Three points for a three-letter word, and up to 20 points on offer for any seven-letter words that you make up. No plurals or proper nouns. Everything else will be fine, and we'll continue to play until we're either out of time, or there's no more space on the grid, as it becomes gridlocked. So, Janet, an admin assistant, which sort of company do you work for? I work for an alarm company. So business must be fairly brisk, I would think. It is, yes. Uh, bells keep ringing. Bells keep ringing. Well, that's all good news. <laughs> Let's see if you can come up with the answer to this clue. Which word is a reddish hard metallic element symbol, CU, and a slang expression for a policeman? So a reddish hard metallic element. Copper. Copper. That's right, yes. And you can place your first letter on the grid. Uh, a K in 35 for ink. For ink, it's a three-letter word for three points. Said, a local government officer, which particular breed of local government officer? That's right, I'm an international officer at Birmingham City Council. Goodness me, so we have local government doing international work now. That's right, yes, I have to make sure that the citizens of Birmingham get as much out of being in Europe as possible. Wow, jolly good stuff. Which word then am I searching for here? The principal of a school? and the part of the body that contains the brain. Head. And not the foot, as in my case. But you can place your letter on the grid. I'd like a P in 32, please, Simon. A P in pink. 32? Making pink. Pink. It's a four-letter word for five points. And Carol, college services officer, what does that mean? I do secretarial and administration work for the Sheffield College. Is that a large college? It's the largest in Europe. All right, so plenty of work on offer mm -hmm. there. Plenty, And yes. do you work with words? Let's see how you get on with this word. To incite or urge on the main constituent of an omelette. Egg. Yes, to egg on. And a letter for the grid. L in two for elm. Elm, a three-letter word for another three points. So you're all scoring now, and it's a chance to put your fingers on the buzzers. The first person to buzz in gets the opportunity to answer. Of wines, a word meaning dry. A small moment in time, a short, a short 60th carol. Sec. Sec, yes, a short 60th of a second, a sec. An A in 17 for cat. For cat, another three-letter word for another three points. Which word is dangerous and risky? It's also hirsute, or covered with hair. Hirsute, covered with hair, side. Hairy. Hairy is right. Yes, they're really quite straightforward, aren't they? And you can place another letter. I'll take an A in 25, please, to make tap. To make tap, our three-letter word for three more points. A small flower of bluish purple colour, and a shy, hesitant person is a shrinking one. Side was first. Violet. Violet was right. Carol was just behind you. Side, another letter from you. Um, I'll put a C in 19, please. C in 19. Not making anything, but perhaps working towards something else. Which word is to give someone offence? The hump. It's to defeat in a race at the post. To chirp like a bird. Side. Pip. Pip, yes. A pip at the post will give someone the pip, give them the hump. And another letter. I'll put an H in 20, please, making catch. Catch, which is a five-letter word for ten points. 
for some cunning tactics there. And the scores now, Janet, three, Carol, six, and Side with 18 points. Two words, they're spelt differently. They are pronounced the same, so they're homophones. An instrument for winding up a clock. And it's also a landing place. An instrument for winding up a clock. Carol. Key. Key is correct, yes, K-E-Y for winding up a clock and Q-U-A-Y, the landing place. So your letter. E in 27 to make hen. Hen, a three-letter word for three more points and another clue. A measure of four inches used in determining the height of horses. Said. Hand. Hand is correct, yes. I'll put a B in 26 making a bet. Making a bet, which is a four-letter word for five points. To emit substances through bodily functions like sweat. <coughs> Janet. Paul. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. So, Said and Carol. To emit substances through bodily functions like sweat. <coughs> Said. Transpire. Is also incorrect, I'm afraid. So, Carol, I can give you another clue. To hide away. To hide away or to emit substances through bodily, bodily functions. Secrete. Secrete. Yes, that's the word I was after. And a letter from you. T in 30, please. A T in 30, not making anything, working towards something else. Which word is a butt of wine approximately equal to 105 gallons? A butt of wine. It's also a tube for conveying water or gas, etc. It's a wind instrument. <coughs> Side. Reed. Is incorrect, I'm afraid. Janet or Carol. And it's an apparatus for smoking tobacco. <coughs> Carol. Pipe. Pipe is correct. Yes, I got it, but just a bit too late there. So, your letter, Carol. O in 31, to make top. To make top, a three-letter word for three more points. The Roman goddess of hearth and household. It's also a match. Hmm, an old name for a match. A Roman goddess of hearth and household. <laughs> Vesta. Vesta. This word means de decomposed and rotten in the case of most meat and ready to eat in the case of game. A euphoric or exhilarated state of mind after taking drugs. Side. High. High, yes. If meat is high, it's either rotten or ready. A bit conf confusing. And your letter. An S and 29, making stop, please. Stop, a four letter word for five more points. Two words spelt differently, pronounced the same. More homophones for you. A word expressing negation or denial. It's also a nautical mile per hour. <coughs> Side. Not. Yes, one with a K, one without the K, not. An O in 15, making ops. Ops. Hmm. It's a, it's a good word. Have you got a definition for that? I'm just going to check on that. Ops. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe an abbreviated term for operations or something like that, but it is not in our database. I can't allow that. But we'll move on. A tricky one for me here. The pepper genus. That's not the tricky part. This is. This Peter picked a peck of pickled pepper. <coughs> Side. Piper. Piper is right. And someone who plays the bagpipes too. And your letter. Um, an A in 23 making cat. Cat, a three-letter word for three more points. So the scores now. Janet, three. Carol, 12. And Side with 31. Which word is to cast off like skin or your clothes? <coughs> Janet was first. Shed. Shed is correct, yes. And a letter from you, Janet. I'll have a T in eight to spell tops. Tops, which is tops, and that's a four-letter word for five points. To harness a vehicle. To pull up your shorts or knickers a little bit. <coughs> Side. Hitch. Yes, yeah. Hitch. Hitch up your knickers. I'll have an S in nine, making scat. Scat, which is a four-letter word once again for five more points. Another couple of homophones for you here. To beat or hit strongly. To beat or hit strongly. It's also a young sheep. <coughs> Side. Lamb. Lamb, yes. L-A-M-B, the young sheep. And L-A-M, to beat or hit strongly. I'll have an R in 24 to make par, please. Par, and that's a three-letter word for three more points. This word is a mine. It's a fruit stone. <coughs> Side again. Pit. Pit is correct, yes. The orchestra is housed in a theatre in the pit. I'll have a T in 11 to make sat. Please. Sat. A three-letter word. Three more points for you. And the scores now. Janet, 8. Carol, 12. Side, 42.
To twirl, roll or trundle. A tremulous sound or a run in a bird song or tin whistle play. A tremulous sound. Tin whistle. <laughs> I was trying to think what else I could give you as a clue. Trill. Trill is what we were after. But we'll move on. This one's a bit easier, perhaps. A type of brass musical instrument. That's a few to choose from. It's also a hard outgrowth on the head of an animal. Side. Horn. Horn is correct, yes. And your letter. I'll put an E in 12 to make sate, please. Sate, a four-letter word for five points. Precipitously vertical. To go away from or avoid something disagreeable. And thin and pure, like some nylon stockings. Side. Sheer. Sheer, yes. Sheer stockings. I'll put a, an S in five to make sec. Sec. Well, we get that one, I think, in one of the opening clues. So that's a three-letter word for three more points. A salesman's particular line of persuasive sales patter. And a bituminous residue from tar. Carol. Pitch. Pitch is right. A salesman's pitch. And your letter, Carol. P in six. P in six. Not spelling anything. And I'm afraid you're not going to get the chance to complete it because that brings us to the end of the first round. <laughs> so, a recap on the scores. Janet with eight. Carol with 12. But in the lead so far is side with 50 points. But there will be plenty of opportunity for the ladies to catch your side, so don't sit back on your laurels. But we'll take a short break. Why don't you practice your word power at home? Which word is a dissolute man of fashion, maybe? And it's also a garden imp implement for scraping or clearing the earth. I'll tell you after the break. Now you could cut the cost of buying a brand new fitted kitchen by calling Kitchens Direct. Kitchens Direct aims to give you extra value and extra savings because it has no showrooms and no middlemen. Instead, you deal direct with an expert team of designers, fitters and highly skilled craftsmen to give you a complete kitchen service at an amazing price. So call Kitchens Direct now on 0800 123 321 and we'll send you a free copy of our brochure as well as information about current offers. Call 0800 123 321. Kitchens Direct. Why pay more than you have to? Just imagine that first glorious moment when you curl up with your new K's catalogue. There's so much to look forward to. Because now it's bigger and better than it's ever been. With more fashion, more sizes, more colours, more kids wear, more brands, more sportswear, and more value for your home. It's a massive 1,200 pages of relaxed, out-of-town shopping. If you're not yet shopping with K's, this is how you start. Call 0500 111 414 for a free catalogue. And we'll give you 20% discount off your first order. You're feeling relaxed, yet focused. Good. Now taste the power of chocolate and caramel. New Galaxy Caramel Swirls. You're drooling with desire. Wipe your chin. You'll find lots of Galaxy Swirls in a lovely gift bag. And you'll send them all to me. You like to give prezzies. Galaxy Caramel Swirls. Give in. When you're awake, you'll need to run an errand. It's about time you change your Glade plug-ins refill. Change them every 45 days to keep your home Glade fresh. The vacuum cleaner explained. The cleaner sucks air through a bag. That's how it picks up dust. I see. What's happened now? Oh, well, the dust has uh, clogged the bag. Does that mean the cleaner can't suck properly? Suppose it does. Does that always happen? Yes. Oh. Only one cleaner has no loss of suction. Dyson. Cut the cost of a brand new fitted kitchen. Call Kitchens Direct now on 0800 123 321. That's 0800 123 321. Thank you very much and welcome back. So, which word is a dissolute man of fashion, perhaps, and is also a garden implement? A rake, of course. 
And it's things like rakes you'll be looking for in the next round of our competition, the word search round, because each of you will have a grid of letters in front of you. Hidden within that grid are nine things on the theme of tools. That's what you're going to be looking for. Your job is to uncover all nine of them, write each one down, and you'll get five points for each one that you do uncover, and a bonus of ten if you get them all. And you'll have exactly a minute in which to do this. So you can turn your grids over, because your one minute starts now. Things on the theme of tools. Tools we're after. And although a few will leap out at you, if you're trying this at home, do look carefully up and down, backwards, and on the diagonals. There are nine tools in there. But the time goes so quickly. The audience are trying, counting them up. Half the time's gone. About 20 seconds left, but remember if you get all the points on offer here, it could change the positions around quite considerably. So we've got a few seconds to find that last one perhaps to get the bonus of 10. How are you getting on at home? All nine of them. And that's it. Time is up, so please put your pens down and we'll find out how well you did here in the studio. Carol, how many? Five. Five. Side. Seven. Seven? Janet. Eight. Eight. Well. Carol. Let's start with you. Which ones did you find? Screw. You got screw. And that was down the right-hand side. Pick. A pick, yes, of course, a very useful tool. Ho. Ho. That's uh, running across the middle there. Drill. Drill, of course, yes, going backwards. And spade. And spade. That's going down. So that's five for 25 points. <laughs> so, Side, you said seven, I think. Which ones did you find? That's right. Uh, hoe. Yes. Crowbar. Crowbar going right across the middle. Lathe. Yes. That Drill. One. Drill as well, yep. We had that Saw. One. Saw. All. All. Do you know, I, I just, yes, all. Fine. Um, we didn't spot that one ourselves. And fork. And fork, which is seven for 35 points. And Janet, eight for you. Which ones did you find? Ho. Yep. Screw. We had that one before. Lathe. Indeed. Crowbar. The big one right across the middle. Pick. Yes. Drill. Uh huh. Fork. Fork we had. And saw. And saw. So that's eight for 40 points. And between you, you managed to uncover them all. So a recap on the scores Carol, 37. Janet with 48, but still winning a side with 85 points. <laughs> And we move on to our third and final round, which is take three. Here, I'll offer you a three-lettered string. Your job is to make up a word beginning with that string by adding other letters. You can add up to four other letters, which will get you the maximum 20 points for the longest word that you can have, which is seven letters. But you can have shorter words, and remember, it is fingers on the buzzer, so speed of thinking is very important. And your first string, then, is E-X-C. Said. Exclaim. E-X-C-L-A-I-M which is a seven-letter word for 20 points. <laughs> the next string, V-A-C. Side again. Vacuum, V-A-C-U-U-M. Which is a six-letter word for 15 points. So Carol was just behind you on the buzzer there. Another string, O-B-S. Side again. Observe, O-B-S-E-R-V-E. -E. A seven-letter word for 20 points. Very quick on the buzzer. Another string for you all. A N A. Carol. Anagram. A N A G R A M. Which is a seven letter word for 20 points. <laughs> now I'll change the way that you can use the strings. Once again, a three letter string. This time you can use it anywhere in the word as long as you use it in the order in which I give it. And your first string like that. D G H. D G H. Janet. Do. D O U G H. Which is fine, it's a five letter word for ten points. The next string, M G O. Said. Imago, I M A G O. Well, just check on that, Imago. Do you know what that means? It's a kind of chrysalis or pupa or something like that. 
Well, I've just checked it absolutely correct. It's a new one on me. Very well done. That is a five-letter word for ten points. <laughs> GGA. GGA. <laughs> Janet. Baggage. B-A-G-G-A-G-E. Which is a seven-letter word for 20 points. <laughs> the score is now Carol, 57, Janet, 78, and Saeed, 150. A-R-G. <laughs> Janet. Barge. You were just ahead of the uh, buzzer there, so you can spell it for me. B-A-R-G-E. Which is a five-letter word, and that gets you ten more points. R-I-Y. Side. Dryly, D-R-I-L-Y. Which is a five-letter word. Ten more points for you. Another string, V-S-H. Carol. Vanish, V-A-N-I-S-H. Which is a six-letter word. You could have had varnish for seven, but vanish is a six-letter word. Fifteen points for you. Another string, C-P-C. C-P-C. <laughs> I'll give you Caprice, which would have done very nicely, and it would. And I'll move on. C-S-Z. Side. Capsize. C-A-P-S-I-Z-E. Seven-letter word for 20 points. Another string. <laughs> A-C-F. A-C-F. Carol. Tactful. T-A-C-T-F-U-L. Seven-letter word, 20 points. Very well done. <laughs> T-H-T. Said. That, T-H-A-A-T. Can you just spell that one more time for me? T-H-A-T. I thought you put in an extra A there. That's a four-letter word, and that's fine. Four, five points. And we'll move on with another string. This one is P-R-G. P-R-G. <laughs> Side. Sprig, S-P-R-I-G. That's fine, it's a five-letter word for ten points. P-R-W. <coughs> Janet. Prow, P-R-O-W-E. Which is fine, that's a four-letter... Did you put an E on the end there? Yeah. Well, you... <laughs> Prow, <laughs> I'll have to check that. I thought you were going to say P-R-O-W, which is fine. I'll check if it's got an E on it. I'm afraid I can't allow that. So we've given one away. Uh, I think we'll move on to another string, make it all fair for you all. The next string, then, is I-I-N. I-I-N. Carol. Divine. D-I-V-I-N-E. And that's fine, and that is a six-letter word for 15 points, and that brings us to the end of the round and the end of the game. <laughs> Just getting a little carried away with myself interrupting you there, Janet. But the scores at the end of the game. Janet with 88, Carol 107, and the gridlock winner for today with 195 points is Said. <laughs> well played and commiserations to Janet and Carol. You don't go away empty-handed. You take away the gridlock clock, pen and keyring. And Said, will you join me in the spotlight for your one-on-one -on -one with the grid board? Very good first stage score. Now your chance to build on that score, hopefully gaining you enough points to take you through to the next stage of the competition. Just as in round one, we'll offer you a grid. This time the computer has placed at random on that grid seven letters. You'll have 15 seconds to study those letters, so let's have a look at your grid. Then you can make up as many words as possible by adding letters. Remember to give me the letter first and then the square. They can be across or down. You don't need to spell them, but you do need to declare each word as soon as you make it. OK? So your 90 seconds begins now. Put an O in two, an I in three, an N in four to make join, a T in five to make joint, E in six, D in seven to make jointed. Put an A in eight, put a T in ten to make ant. Put an N in fifteen, Put an O in 16 to make nor. Put an a M in 18 to make norm. Put an A in 19. Put an L in 20 to make eel and normal. Put a P in 22. 
put an A in 23, put an I in 24, put an N in 25 to make paint, put an E in 27, put a D in 28 to make painted, put a V in 29, put an A in 30, put, a, put an N in 31, Put an S in 33, put an H in 34 to make vanish. Last few seconds. Put a, an O in 14 and an E in 21 to make go. Oh. I don't think you got that last one in, but you still created some very good six and seven letter words. Let's just see how you, well you did. You missed out van on the way to vanish. But I don't think you missed anything else. Maybe a P in 12 would have given you pats or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you still did very well. 109 points. <laughs> Let's add that to the scores from the previous stage, which gives you a grand total of 304 points, which will take you through. Oh. <laughs> will take you through to the next stage of the competition. You take home the clock, the pen, the key ring, your choice of book, and you'll be playing for a CD-ROM later on, maybe even going on to be the gridlock champion side. Well done. We'll see you later on. And hopefully we'll see you later on with three more contestants as we continue to search for a champion wordsmith. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>Good evening to you. You're watching Colton Select. Finding the right word is fun for those watching, a little more tense for those playing gridlock. Once again to Gridlock, the show guaranteed to give the old cerebral cortex a bit of a workout as we delve deep into the English language. This is the second round in our competition where all the highest scorers from the first round come back in a bid to secure their place in the quarterfinals, but space is limited and there is only room for today's winner to go through. So facing that challenge today, we have Saeed Khan, a local government officer, Vicky Hubble, a sales representative, and Ross Shaw, a process worker. Welcome back to Gridlock. <laughs> Of course, you remember that the first round involves double meanings. I'll let you have a look at your first grid for the day. It looks a little bit like this. And, of course, there are no individual questions to start things off, so fingers on the buzzers. A couple of homophones we're after here, words that are spelt differently but pronounced the same. Clue to the first. Put into order. Side. Sort. Is correct. I was going to say the past tense of to seek. Sort as well. And your first letter for the grid. I'd like an A in 26 making ash, please which is a three-letter word, you start your scoring with three points. Another clue for you all. A surveying instrument similar to a theodolite consisting of a graduated rod and two hairs in a telescope. An easier clue perhaps now for you. It's also a number of sports grounds. Ross. Is it stadia? Stadia is correct, yes. Stadium, stadia. And your first letter for the grid. I'm an R in 25 to spell rash, please. You can indeed, and that's a four-letter word there. Five points. A type of shoe with a thick sole. Going back to Noddy Holder's days, I think. Side. Platform. Is right, yes. Vicky was just behind you on the buzzer there. Side, your next letter then. Have a T in 24 making trash, please. Building nicely, and that's a five letter word there for uh, 10 points. <laughs> Homophones once again. To solicit votes. Russ. Canvas. Canvas is right, and a coarse cloth used for sales. And another letter. Could I have an A in 10 for art, please? You can, that's fine, and uh, after canvas, that's quite a good answer. It's a three letter word for three points. So the score's now Vicky yet to get off the mark. Very quick on the buzzers, though, they're chaps, and we've got Ross with eight and Saeed with 13. 
unwanted and uninvited, unpleasant and disagreeable. If, if somebody is unwanted or uninvited, they would... Ross? Unwelcome. Unwelcome. Well thought out. Yes. And another letter from you. Could I have an N in 11 to spell anti, please? And that's a four-letter word for another five points. Homophones once again. The underside of the foot. Ross. Soul. Soul. Vicky was just behind you. I'm afraid it's just not quick enough. Ross, that's correct. And another letter. Could I have a Y in 31 for arty? You can. And that's a four-letter word for five points. A coating on the tongue. The deposit in a kettle caused by hard water. Ross. Lime. Is un not right, I'm afraid. Vicky? Fur. Fur, yes. <laughs> <laughs> now you're started. A letter for the grid. Um, a P in four to make top. Which is fine, and that's a three-letter word. You started scoring with three points. <laughs> so, a recap and scores. Vicky with three, side 13, Ross with 18 in the lead. The woolly grip on a bell pull rope. So, campanologists amongst us. The woolly grip on a bell pull rope. An aunt who is often knocked out of bed at a fair. Sally. Sally. Sally, yes. Could I have an H and nine making chant, please? Chant. And uh, is that with an E or without? Oh, um, I won't try it with an E, I'll try it without. OK, that's a four-letter word for five points. I do have to be careful now. Oh, sorry, it's a five-letter word, so you get ten points. I'm doing you out of points there. Arithmetic, not my strong subject, I'm afraid. This word suffixed by down means to keep a job in spite of difficulties. Ross. Keep. Is not right, I'm afraid. So side and Vicky. However, followed by up, it means an attack with intent to rob. Vicky. Hold. Yes, hold up and hold down. Hold down the job. Another letter from you. Um, an S in one to make stop. Which is fine, that's a four letter word for five points. A name for a rabbit, the long eared American hare. Said. Jack? Yes. I'll have um, R in 14, please, making chanter. Making chanter, and that's an excellent seven letter word for 20 points. <laughs> this word, a division of world history or geology. So, Ross. Era. Is not right, I'm afraid. Vicky inside. Side. Age? Is right, yes. Duration of one's life, an age. I'll put an O in 15, please. Building for something perhaps later on. Homophones once again. Three words, a clue for each. The water between lands. What you do, side. Channel. It's not right, I'm afraid. So Ricky and Russ. Vicky, sorry. What you do with your eyes. Russ. C. C, yes. S E A, the water between lands, and C, of course, with your eyes. Could I know F in 22, please, for scoff? Scoff, and that's an excellent five letter word for 10 points. So Vicky just being beaten to the post by the, uh, the chaps. Vicky with eight, Ross with 28, and Saeed with 43. The beaten path and railway lines. Ross. Track. Yes. <laughs> Could I have an S in five for stops? For stops. And that's a five-letter word then. Ten points. Homophones, once again, two words. The stem of a plant. Vicky. Stalk. Well done, yes. <laughs> Getting in straight away. A bird who brings a newborn baby as well, a stalk. Can I have an A in 16 to make or? Which is a three-letter word there. Three more points. This word is to haggle. Something for sale at an advantageously low price. Ross. Bargain. Bargain is right, yes. Could I have a T in 23 for that, please? For that, and that's a four-letter word, for five points. Homophones again, two words. A general term for a mast, yard, boom or gaff. Side. Pole. Is not right. So, Vicky. Sail. Oh, I'm afraid that's not right either. Russ, I've got another clue for you. A resort where a mineral spring is, lo is located. A spa. Spa, yes. One with an R, one without. Hmm. Could I have a I in six for sin, please? That's fine, and that's a three-letter word. Three more points to add to your total and takes you into the lead. A slang word for a prison cell. To dwindle away to nothing. Ross. Rot. Not right, I'm afraid. And his friends came to stay in a 1992 film. Vicky. 
Peter. Yes, that's right. <laughs> a slang word for a prison seller, Peter. Can I have an S in 18 for oars? I think so. Make sure it's a verb. Um, it'd be a four-lettered one. And uh, does look like it. Somebody... Yes, yes, that's fine. It's a four-lettered word for five points. Well done. <laughs> Just got to make sure all these uh, words are in our dictionary database, and then you get the points. This word, though, of a crowd brimming and teeming with people. Being stupid and brainless. I know how it feels. Fat and broad. Vicky. Thick. Yes. <laughs> well done. Can I have an N in 20 to make sing? You certainly can, and it's a four-letter word for five points. So just three spaces on the board left. Laminae. This is what this word means. It's also devices worn in the mouth to straighten teeth. <laughs> Vicky. Brace. It's not right. It's a Russ. Braces. That's also not right, I'm afraid. Side, I've got a couple more clues. Laminae, devices worn in the mouth to straighten the teeth. Film-coated pieces of glass on which photographs are taken. Plate. And plates. That's what I wanted. Yep. And your letter. Um. I'll have to push you along now. I'll put an L in 33, please. Uh, making up anything? No. No. And I'm afraid that brings us to the end of that first round. <laughs> Some quick fire scoring there. The end of the first round. Vicky has 21. Said 43. Just in the lead. There is Ross with 46 points. <laughs> but lots of points on offer in the second half of the show, so plenty of time to catch up. Why don't you uh, practice your word power at home whilst we take a short break? What is uh, which word am I after? To show someone to their seat, and also an official who keeps order in court. I'll tell you in a few minutes. <laughs> If you love shopping, you'll love the new Next Directory. All the clothes you could ever need for summer, packed into 480 pages. Call 0800 731 4567 for your copy. The indispensable Next Directory, yours by calling 0800 731 4567. These new home fries from McCain cook in the oven but taste fried. Then I had a taste. They taste fried. Now I'm a believer, not a trace of doubt in my mind. Gotta tell the world, I'm a believer. They're gonna please her. They taste fried. These new home fries from McCain cook in the oven but taste fried. Believe me, they're brilliant. New home fries from McCain cook in the oven but taste fried. Taste it and believe it. Woof, woof. Gorgeous. Mm. Stunning coat, stunning. You're right there, son. Belongs on a catwalk. Glossy, healthy, fit. fit. Must be fed on Kitty Cat. All those delicious meaty chunks and that tasty jelly. Oh, the jelly. <whistles> Sweet swoo, I say. On reflection, though, they don't say a lot, do they? Ooh, give us a kiss. How much do BT charge for reconnection? 60, 70 pounds. 50 pounds? No, 20 pounds. 25 quid? 70 pounds, something like that. Very expensive. 50. Go on, 50. I would think about 90. 50 or 60 quid? 45 quid. Oh, I don't know, about 60 quid? In fact, it costs only £9.99 to be reconnected to BT. Seems so cheap. Well, very good value. Yeah. Just good value. So I think it's excellent. It's brilliant. Yeah, I love some. It is a good deal, yeah. Very good. Oh, I'd say it's good to talk. For full details, call free phone 0800 007 800. Delicately toasted nuttiness, golden honeyness. We could find nothing to add to the irresistible flakiness of Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes. So we took something away. We've dropped to a new lower price. Welcome back. So which word was I after? It's to show someone to their seat and it's also an official in court or perhaps even church. Usher is what I wanted. Usher. And it's words associated with 
a courtroom that we're going to be after in our word search round. I don't know if you've been up in front of the beak, but it may or may not help. All you have to do is spot those words, eight of them in total. You'll have a minute to do that, and you can turn your grids because your one minute starts now. So words associated with a courtroom. Eight of them in there, five points for each one that you write down, and if you get all eight, there'll be a bonus of ten. So there's 50 points up for grabs here. And it may not help, even if you actually know that much about a courtroom. The trick here is to actually spot them. Remember, up and down, left and right, diagonally. Some are straightforward, some are hidden away a bit. And the time disappears so quickly. 20 seconds left. So, in the last 10 seconds, see if you can complete that list of eight. Maybe just one or two more to find. Last few seconds. That's it. Time is up. So, pens down. I think Russ may have got the last one just at the last minute. How many did you find? Well, I found eight words. Eight <laughs> words. Okay. We'll see if they're all the ones we were after. Vicky? Eight words as well. And Saeed? I only found seven. Oh, mind you, they found eight words, whether or not they're the right <laughs> ones. So, Saeed, which ones did you come up with? I found wig. Of course, the judge would wear a wig, yes. Witness. Witness, straightforward across the bottom. Plea. Plea, yes, going backwards up the top there. Doc. Doc, that was running down. Judge. Judge, well, I would hope there was one of those, yes, straightforward. Oath. Oath, you'd take the oath, diagonal there. And jury. And jury, yes, another diagonal. So that's seven for 35 points. <laughs> Vicky, you better run through your list for me. Well, one of them's not right. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Judge, mm -hmm. witness, yeah. adjourn. Adjourn. Adjourn is in there. It's running backwards across the top. Wig, jury, doc and plea. Wig, yep, doc and plea. So is that seven then? Or is mm -hmm. it, that's seven for 35 points. And Ross? Well, I've only got six now. Oh, dear. Right, which six? Adjourn, yep. witness, mm -hmm. plea, judge, doc and jury. Right, so that's six for 30 points. <laughs> you managed to uncover them all between you, so a recap on the scores. And it sees Vicky with 56 points, Ross with 76, just in the lead, though, with 78 points, is Saeed Khan. It's all pretty much neck and neck as we go into the third round. Take three. Here, I'll be offering you strings of three letters. You need to use them and make up words. The first of all, you must use them adjacent to each other. And uh, no starting questions, so it's fingers on the buzzers. And your first adjacent string. O-M-I. Russ. Omitted. And spell it, please. O-M-I-T-T-E-D. It's a seven-letter word for 20 points. Do you remember to spell each word once you've given it to me? R H O. Ross again. Rome. I th don't think you got that in in time, I'm afraid. Um, Vicky buzzed at the same time. <laughs> Rhapsody, but it's too many letters. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to fit and either, I think. So. Not, yeah. <laughs> we'll move on and we'll offer you all another string. Y G O. Y G O. Sorry. Zygotic. Zygotic, you'll have to spell it. Z Y G. O-T-I-C. I'm very good. And that is a seven-letter word. Fantastic for 20 points. <laughs> Got a definition for me? It's something to do with chromosomes, but don't ask me any more than I'll that. I'll let you off with that. We'll move on with another string for you all. B-Y-S. Ross. Abyss. A-B-Y-S-S. Which is fine. It's a five-letter <laughs> word there for 10 points. X-P-A. Ross again. Expand. E-X-P-A-N-D. Which is a six-letter word there, 15 points. Now we'll change the way that you can use the strings. Now they can be used randomly in the word, as long as they're used in the order that I give them. And your first random string, then. C-U-K. Russ. Clucked. C-L-U-C-K-E-D. I think that's fine. What a chicken does. It's a seven-letter thing. Uh, yeah, that's for 20 points. Well done. Vicky was just behind you on the buzzer there. Fingers on the buzzers once again. S S W. Ross again. <laughs> you have to have an answer, Vicky. <laughs> it's gone. You have to have an answer too. <laughs> I'll move on and offer you all another string. R C R. Ross. Reciter. 
R E C I T E R. I'm just going to make sure that is right. Um, it would be a seven letter word, and it is for the maximum 20 points. Y F U. Ross again. Joyful. J O Y F U L. Which is a six letter word there. <coughs> yes, six letter word for 15 points. B G D. Ross again. Bigoted. B I G O T E D. I'm just going to once again check the spelling on that, make sure there's the, the right number of letters. It is absolutely right, it's a seven letter word for the maximum 20 points. <laughs> I just can't believe that you can spell so quickly. O G G. Vicky. Boggles. B O G G L E S. That looks fine to me. It's a seven letter <laughs> word for the maximum 20 points. <laughs> and that brings us to the end of that round. <laughs> The mind boggles. Not the end of the game. A recap on the scores. Vicky with 76, Saeed with 98, but in the lead with 196 is Russ. <laughs> so some tremendous scoring in that round, but now you all get the chance to play your solo run with the grid board. And we'll start with the player with the least points first, so that's you, Vicky, and we'll put you in the spotlight. <laughs> Just as in round one, we'll offer you a grid, but this time the grid will only have one letter. That letter will be repeated randomly throughout that grid ten times. You need to add other letters to create as many words as you can. Remember to declare each word as you create it, and each word that you do create can only be used once and once only. And you'll have 90 seconds with no thinking time, so as soon as you see the grid, you may begin. So, Vicky, let's have a look at your grid now. S in 11, C. K in 14, seek. Um, T in 5, T. And R in, oh, in 26. A H in 24, her. A T in 23. An E in 27 there, a B in 9, an S in 30 for Betts and C, um, an R in 33 for Sia, E in 21 for Eek, um, R in 20 for Air, a H in 6 for Here and The, Twenty seconds left. Uh, an S in seventeen for she. Last ten seconds. An L in fifteen and an S in eighteen for lesser. An A in four for ass. <laughs> you got it in at the end there. <laughs> Let's see how many points he scored. Remember, you can only use each word once, so we couldn't give you C, which you tried to use twice, but you still did very well and scored 69 points. We add the scores together, gives you a grand total of 145 points. <laughs> which is a fine score, but I'm afraid not quite good enough. See how Saeed can do as we put you in the spotlight. <laughs> Fair bit of ground to catch up, but you've got a, uh, 90 seconds to do it, so the very best of luck, Saeed. Let's have a look Thanks. at your grid now. Okay, E in two, L in one to make let, E in five, R in six, letter, S in seven, A in twenty-one, R in twenty-eight to make start, R in thirty-four, a in 33 to make art, P in 32 to make part, S in 31 to make spa, I in 8 to make lit, H in 22 to make, to make nothing, and E in 29 to make lithe and ets. O in 23 to make hot, 
T in 25. 20 oh. seconds. Um, A in 16. R in 17 to make tart. L in 19 and Y in 20 to make tartly. Last few seconds. R in 19 era. I don't think you got that last one in, but see how many points you scored. There's no verb to et, so et, I'm afraid, we couldn't allow, but it was only a three-letter word and still allowed you to score 77 points. We add the scores together, gives you a grand total of 175 points. <laughs> Which is an excellent score, but it's not quite enough to put Ross out, so, Ross, you can relax a little bit as we put you in the spotlight. I'll still put some pressure on you, though, because at the end of this round, the highest total score that has been achieved has been by Philip Wass, 302 points. So you'll have to score over 100 points or more if you're going to beat that. And you've got 90 seconds, starting now. Mm. Can I have an A in one for us, please? Uh, an E in... Mm. E in four, and an S in five for asses. Now a T in ten, uh, an R in twenty-four, a T in thirty-one, an A in seventeen for tar, art, star, and start. Now have an A in twenty-five, a C in twenty-three. An H in 27 for Rash, Ash and Crash. An E in 9 for Set. Twenty seconds left. Last 10 seconds. A W in 12, a uh, an H in 33, an I in 19 for Wish and Swish. And that's it. <laughs> See how many points you scored. I've got some bad news for you. You're only allowed one word in any one direction. So, of course, we gave you the longest word that you named, but you should have declared the smaller ones on the way to making those longer ones. You still scored those 36 points. We add the scores together, gives you a grand total then of 232 points, which, of course, means you are our gridlock winner for today. <laughs> and it means we have to say commiserations and farewell, but very well played to Saeed and Vicky. Ross, you do go through to the next stage of the competition, the quarterfinals, and you take home your choice of book-related CD-ROM. So we'll be seeing Ross later on in a few weeks' time. Who will get through next time? It'll be a challenging fight no matter who's in the contest. Join us to find out here on Gridlock. Bye-bye. <laughs>Simon is here again tomorrow at the same time. In Hey Dad next, can Ben find the perfect gift?